There you are. What's going on, dude? Hi. Hey, Nick. Um, how are you? Good. We're all we're all here. We're all, well, all you guys are there. Okay. Hey. Nice to see you guys. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see you. How's it going? Kind of see. <laughs> Bring the brightness up. All right. I was just talking about this before you guys uh, joined us. That uh, the last time I saw you guys was in Windsor with uh, Slash. Oh. Oh, that was yeah. a fun show. That was a lot of fun. That show was so much fun, man. Can you hear us okay? Yeah, no, we're good. There we go. Perfect. I can see all you guys now. All right. Yeah. All right <laughs> back there. All right. <laughs> Blake, where are you at? How you doing, brother? Where are you doing, man? Well, Greg and I just sat through about like an hour and a half of traffic, but we're doing okay now. Dude, join the club. I, I had to, I had to interview Mick Box today from uh, Uriah Heap. And I raced here to work because I got stuck in two traffic jams due to construction. And I just sat down and he called. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, wow. Okay. Good timing then. Yeah, it's always some guy going too fast who ends up crashing in the fast lane. Yeah, well, out here in Detroit, there's two seasons, construction and winter. And I think we're slowly getting into winter here. But uh, uh, are you guys uh, – Uriah Heat fans? I know you guys are – you guys have to be classic rock fans, right? I've never talked to you guys about this before. What about classic rock bands? Yeah, are you guys class? You guys are, are obviously classic rock fans. Yeah, fans, fans. Yeah, you guys in the classic rock. rock. I know you guys did a cover of Mississippi Queen and the whole thing. I was just talking about. Oh, yeah, the, totally. The, totally. The, the, I was just talking about the singer of you, uh, uh, the guitar player Uriah Heep. I was just talking to. So, so what are some of the classic rock bands that influence you guys? Oh man, I mean, a lot. Yeah, so many. Man. I mean, like the big ones would be like. I guess Zeppelin, Sabbath, obviously Mountain, big, big one too. The police, yes. Uh, uh, audio slave, audio slave. Oh yeah. I like uh, they're audio Alice. slave classic rock. They might be classic rock to you, young bucks. That <laughs> <laughs> works. It's vintage now, man. Oh, yeah, it's it's true. true. Yeah, you're right. Um, true. Yeah, so you know, growing up in uh, Southern California, you guys were exposed to a lot of that stuff. No, actually, the exact opposite. We actually had, we actually didn't like everything that was popular, I guess, and to say it in like a really annoying hipster way. But <laughs> like, I, I guess kind of like from that, we kind of went digging ourselves to find music that we liked. And uh, it's kind of funny that we all individually kind of found similar music. And then when we, when we all met, it was like, oh, this is like one other person that I could ever think of that likes the same music as I do. <laughs> Now, you guys are kind of in this genre right now, which has kind of really become very popular in the last uh, five to seven years uh, of just like a straight ahead rock band. And I really like it. Like, you know, the Dirty Honey guys and the Greta Van Fleets and the Rival Sons and all that kind of stuff. Talk about that. No, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, we, we when we first started getting out on the road and whatever, you know, it seems like since then, which has been more and more every year. And, you know, we welcome it. Anyone playing rock now you know we're we support yeah that's the thing because there for a little while it seemed like the rock band with the four guys and the bass and the drums and the singer and, the, and you know the guitar player and stuff kind of it wasn't really going away but it seems to be kind of pushed more to the forefront a little bit in the past five years or so totally yeah, yeah it's good to see too yeah so i see you guys got all your gear there so you're gonna play a couple songs for us yes sir sure, man. yeah, yeah. All right, so go ahead, Nick. I'll turn things over to you. Take it away. All right, Thanks, man. Cool. All right. Uh, this is uh, Mother Rebel. Thanks for playing it, by the way. Yes, yes thank, thank you very you. much. <laughs> Appreciate it. One, two, three, four. Ah! <laughs> 
technology you guys can do this kind of stuff right now with us in this crazy time that we're in but you guys do have shows scheduled coming up in a few months don't you actually we can announce this yeah. uh we're going on tour <laughs> no no we actually are we're going on tour uh, in december we're going to be playing um uh, social distancing shows across america we're actually going to be releasing the dates later today okay cool how, how, how do you, how are you guys going to do this? Like what kind of protocol do you guys have this all figured out already? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a lot of like getting checked at the venues and uh, you know, everyone has to wear a mask and you're going to have to be in little sections, you know, spread out throughout like a larger venue than usual. And, you know, it's just about being safe. It's going to be weird, but you know, it's uh, better than nothing. Right. <laughs> Yeah, no doubt. Um, my daughter was watching the Country Music Awards or something yesterday on TV, and they had them all like kind of spread out the, uh, the the people in the audience. I don't know if you guys saw that last night. I saw a picture of it. Yeah, so it's a lot like that. People sitting, you know, just trying to be safe, looking out for each other, and uh, just having a good time, I think. I think that's the main goal. Now, as cool as this is, seeing you guys, I mean, in 2020, this is really cool that I can... Uh, this is about maybe my, I don't know, 10th or 12th interview I've done over the phone like this, you know, over the internet or whatever. But it's like, how much do you guys miss being on the stage instead of singing into your phone? <laughs> oh, man, it's... Uh, I don't even know what it feels like anymore. I know, and that's a real sad thing to say, but it's very true. It's like, you almost forget what that feeling is like. And 
And for a band like us, like that's definitely, you know, 85% of like what we set out to be as a band in the first place. And to have that kind of, you know, rug pulled out from under your feet is uh, definitely something uh, very hard to get used to. So we're looking forward to kind of getting back in the swing of things here pretty soon. Now, uh, when I've seen you guys play before, like I said, I saw you open up for Slash and stuff. You guys always remind me of like one of those bands that really wants to take the bull by the horns when they're opening up and you really want to grab that crowd. Talk about uh, what you guys do on stage for people that might not have seen your show before. Uh, you know, I mean, like in that in that situation in particular, I, I think we just we get so excited. The fact that we get to do what we love to do, which is like play energetic rock music that like means a lot to us. And then when we're able to open for like legends, you know, like Slash and Miles Kennedy in front of like thousands of people, like we never get those kind of opportunities. So to get like be able to do that is a huge experience. And so we're like when you see us just having the time of our life up there is because like we truly are, you know, it's, it's no show. And Nick, since you're like in that confined area there and you can't really like do backflips and stuff, maybe I'll do one here in a little while. <laughs> yeah, why not? You, no, you that's can, not going to happen. <laughs> you can probably make some space in there. Uh, just uh, as a disclaimer, we are not responsible for any injury that may happen. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, we might be sending the light. Yeah, we'll, we'll send you a waiver just to be sure. Okay. So I, if I'm not mistaken, didn't you guys play a Rock in the Range a couple of years ago too? We did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I vaguely recall that. Yeah, before it, before it became Sonic Temple, right? Yeah, oh, that's right. The yeah, last, last rock on the range. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, oh, I made the trek down there. Talk about playing those festivals and not only opening up for like guys like Slash, but like a ton of your heroes, probably. Cool. Oh my god, <laughs> dude! It was. I remember that was the greatest birthday I think I've ever had. Because we were at this festival, and like actually a lot of people came out to come see us play, which was really surprising to us. And then after that was all said and done, we got to just hang out for the day. And then we got to go like basically front row to see Tool play live with people, which was like a mind blowing experience for sure. So it was a great time. Yeah, that is really cool because um, uh, you know, like like you said, you guys probably played like at around noon or one o'clock or so, right? I think so. Probably, yeah. yeah, like one. Yeah, we we were we were all standing behind the stage, and we were waiting to go on. And then we walked up to the when it was time to go, and we had like just a, a pretty big crowd of people there to watch us, and that meant a lot to us because you know we had been playing. We played Las Vegas Festival, Rockville, Carolina Rebellion, Northern Invasion, and then that was like at the end of all of that. And you know we had, we had established a reputation, put on a good show, and that meant everything to us that people wanted to come out and see it. Yeah, I guess that's kind of the point I was getting at a few minutes ago, which you guys are known for putting on a good show, an energetic, uh, high high paced show. And then you guys play, and then if I'm not mistaken, you guys have like bus call, like whatever time it's late at night, right? So you guys can just sit, stick around and see all the other bands play. Oh yeah, oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah, festivals are the most fun we get to have. Over yeah, besides <laughs> playing shows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you get to meet all the fans and sell merch and all that stuff, too. Eat the catering. Yeah. Yes, eat catering. the catering. Oh, my God. You make, like, an extra plate for yourself to, like, put on the on the van or the bus later. It's always oh, so awesome. Yeah, there you go, when you're traveling to the next city. So, you guys going to do one more for us here? Yeah, absolutely. This is our uh, our last release uh, uh, before the Mother Rebel EP. This is uh, Odyssey. I'm 
Like, there's not any like sensitivity for a period of time. That yeah, yeah, sorry. Oh, that's right. I thought I thought it was a special ambiance for the song. <laughs> we did not plan that, but yeah, yeah. It seemed like it. yeah, we have our own lighting guy for these acoustic uh, FaceTimes. You know, it's very elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> well, as cool as it is watching you guys play, of course we're just doing this through a phone. But we got we need to see you guys in person coming up soon. So you guys say you got no, some okay. dates coming up. To, uh, you're going to announce today. Yeah, yes. we're, it'll uh, the we'll post our uh, poster about it uh, uh, later this uh, afternoon. Yeah. Now I don't know why, but are you guys Blackberry Smoke fans? Uh, Actually, not too familiar with that band. I know we I, I know we know the name. Um, okay, because you guys actually, remind me of them a little bit. I wasn't sure if you'd ever seen them or anything. Oh, that's cool. Are, aren't there like two of those bands that have yeah, like there's, there's Blackstone Cherry and there's Blackstone. Oh, yeah. okay. I, I get kind of confused. Honestly. Okay, but I've heard they're both like kind of southern rock bands. Yeah, I think. yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're both they're they're different kind of bands uh, for sure. But uh, yeah, the, uh, the the now now you're getting me all screwed up with the black smoke and the black. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I totally didn't mean to. I should, we should do our research more on on that because we've definitely heard that name before. No, but I think you know. I think you guys would dig them if you've never heard them before. But I thought you guys, you know, you guys sound a, a slightly a little bit like them. So, um, nice. so a couple more things here before we cut you guys loose. So, what have you guys been doing through this whole pandemic? Man, just uh, just writing a lot as much as we can, like just trying to feel inspired. That, that's really a hard thing to feel right now is like truly inspired, but uh, we're definitely trying to work hard on, on the whole writing process and uh, just trying to stay busy with all aspects of uh, music, whether it's just like practicing, like learning new things on the instrument or trying to keep yourself busy because it's, it's, it's tough, you know? Yeah. It's kind of a weird time because uh, you guys have to put yourself out there in front of people. And luckily we have the internet and all this stuff that you guys can do all these different avenues. You guys can do that will keep you uh, front and center in front of your fans. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, also, just to say, uh, if you liked this acoustic stuff, tomorrow uh, we have uh, two acoustic songs that you can, uh, that will be on Spotify and YouTube and stuff that are coming out. It's our song, we just played out Odyssey, and then our other song, Quiet Heart, that will be available. That's cool. So, yeah, you're still putting out stuff and uh, engaging with the fans then. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. do whatever we can, you know, as far as uh, not playing live. So whether it's like writing or releasing little tidbits of music here and there that are a little like different perspective from our previous material. Uh, you know, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't imagine what would happen, you know, back in the day when you guys were just, uh, you know, peeing your diapers. <laughs> what bands would do if something like this happened? That's a great question. You know, it really is. Uh, we're we're in like we're in an interesting situation where as like Nick said before, we're actually gonna go out and tour relatively soon. Whereas the bigger bands, 
I actually can't do that because they have like such a big production where they need to have people paid and then they can't have too many people in like one condensed area also. So it's like, it's almost nice to be a smaller band just in this one instance, you know, but it's, it's hard on everybody. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool if you guys went out as as your band and toured and stuff and played like massive arenas, but <laughs> just had, just had like a couple hundred people <laughs> spread around. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like you know, we played arena shows back in 2020 when there was a <laughs> pandemic and it was an arena full of 20 people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you guys got more of these things going on today? What's that? More of these uh, interviews all over the Instagram? Oh, that's a great question. I don't uh, know. No, not today. No. Okay. <laughs> I, think, I think I think this was this is like the first time we've done something like this. So yeah. Yeah. It's pretty wild that you can uh, do this and, and, and do the fans then of course we'll we'll uh, take this uh, audio and this video and stuff and, and post on our website too so people can see it'll be on YouTube, you know, to, we'll, which will live, you know, forever, I suppose. Well, yeah, awesome. cool. That'd, That'd be cool. great. And to anyone watching the live stream, uh, that's not over. It doesn't know who we are. Uh, please follow us on uh, all of our social media and on Instagram and whatever. And uh, we'll have new music to listen to soon. Also, check us out and follow us on Spotify for uh, all our new releases. Also, we're updating a merch store. Maybe yes, cool. so we'll have product to be yes. able to order. A lot more merch to be sold. Yes, very soon. Just in time for Christmas. Yeah, exactly. There uh, might be like bundles. Christmas bundles, Christmas bundles yeah, crazy stuff going on. Yeah. So yeah, signs, you know uh, pictures of Roberts. Yep. From King Wait Artists. a second, you got pictures of him? What'd you say? Oh, yeah, we might have signed photos of Robert. Oh, okay. <laughs> new, new item, I guess. Yes. <laughs> it's a brand. One yes. Radio Plaza, Detroit, Michigan, is where my address is. So you guys just mail one to me here, so. Right, we'll do. That, that won't be too hard. You want yes. a joyous wolf hat? Say again. Would you like a joyous wolf hat? Oh, for sure, dude. Yeah, absolutely. I'm so, right right now, yeah, so, I mean, yeah. we, we know some people. We might be able to make that happen. Yeah. We do. <laughs> uh, well, listen, you guys. Uh, thanks so much for the uh, time and uh, uh, good luck on your uh, on your tour. I'm gonna be interested in follow along and see how this is going with you guys. Yeah, thanks, man. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us again. And thanks again uh, for playing my rumble. All right, you guys got it. Hey, great talking to you guys. Have a great day. Thanks, man. See you.